A top Dutch government minister said he's confident the country's coveted chip equipment maker ASML will remain in the Netherlands following threats from the company to move its operations abroad. Steven van Weinberg, the Netherlands finance minister, told CNBC's Karen So on Thursday that he isn't worried by ASML's statements threatening to leave the country. The company has since walked back the comments. In a January call with investors, ASML CEO Peter Wenink said, The consequences of limiting labor migration are large. We need those people to innovate. If we can't get those people here, we will go somewhere where we can grow. His comments followed controversial plans by the Dutch to scale back tax breaks for highly skilled migrants and limit the number of foreigners who can attend Dutch universities. ASML is core to the world's semiconductor supply chain. The company makes extreme ultraviolet lithography EUV, machines, which are critical to the semiconductor industry for manufacturing integrated circuits. EUV machines generate an incredibly short wavelength of light in large quantities to print small, complex designs on microchips. The EUV light is created with tiny explosions of molten tin happening at extreme speeds and then bounced off mirrors that ASML says are the flattest surfaces in the world. I think many people, many countries would love to welcome ASML, but I think they're strongly embedded in the Netherlands, Van Weinberg told CNBC Thursday. The minister said he had been involved in discussions between the cabinet and ASML last month concerning the firm's plans to grow in the Netherlands and whether there were enough roads, houses and skilled people from abroad to foster that growth. I'm very optimistic about ASML's future and that it will be within the Netherlands, he said. The Dutch government last month launched a campaign dubbed Operation Beethoven in an attempt to address ASML's concerns and convince them to stay in the Netherlands, Reuters reported. The semiconductor equipment maker has since ruled out a complete departure from the Netherlands, but the company remains unhappy with its home country's approach to fostering growth. There is a considerable gap between the concerns of industry, and what we think is necessary, and what politicians think, ASML CEO Peter Wenink told reporters after a meeting with the Dutch government in March, according to Reuters. If ASML can't grow in the Netherlands, it can do so elsewhere, he reportedly said. Though the Dutch are still working to appoint a new government, plans previously approved by Parliament to cap the number of foreign students and scrap the skilled migrant tax break have upset several businesses in the country including ASML and Dutch chipmaker NXP. More than 40% of ASML's 23,000-strong workforce in the Netherlands are not Dutch. The Netherlands has previously seen some of its multinational firms ditch its shores for greener pastures.